Hello? 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 Um. <laughs> let me let me retry that now. Um, but hello everybody, welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we played, we ended up doing some questing around, and now we're actually gonna go into Tefra Cave. You know, the place that they've been telling us to go since we started. <laughs> So we're gonna go ahead and load in. I'm going to play as uh, Fiora for this. I've decided because I want to show off her skills. You know? So all of the quests that we currently have in our inventory, in our inventory, as if I pocket them, <laughs> in our quest log, are all things that we can do inside Tefra Cave. Um, so we're gonna go on and head on in. So this is where we learn about the different types of monster. Um, you'll see here that there's a new type of monster, which is that they can hear you but they can't see you. These ones are ordinary monsters, they'll only attack you if you attack them. And then you have things like the brog, which will attack you if it steals. And we got the achievement A Corner of the World, which you get for visiting 10 different landmarks. I'm dropping things. Come on, don't, don't fall. So we're gonna go ahead and run on in, just skedaddling. Uh, and if we open up the Collectopedia here, you'll notice that Tefra, gave, Tefra Cave has its own set of Collectopedia. We will be complaining this. Uh, you can trade for these items, uh, but I will more than likely be hunting for them because I enjoy that. Uh, but over here are Willow Bunnet Bunnets, which we do need to kill. So, come on, we can do it. I'm ready. Let me at him. Ready. Ah. Oh, go there we go! But we did kind of engage in combat with two other guys, so we're gonna go ahead and Yeah! <laughs> what a bunch of- I love Ryan. Ryan's great. We got these guys. And we got the Stellar Bugworm, which is a special enemy, which means I'm going to switch over to Shulk. I think we're going to try and take it on. I think we're going to try it. We might fail it. Angel! No! You're just spending too much money on me, I swear to God. Driving me crazy. Driving me crazy. Anyway, we're gonna save before we start. Thank you. 
For 27 months. That's impressive. Actually, I'm gonna go behind this. Angel! <laughs> Don't give me bits! Get that aggro off me, Jesus, Ryan. What the hell are you doing? <laughs> so, you know how I said, yeah, no more speaking for this video? Yeah. I need to add. What did you freaking. You haven't added it but. Because I'm going to change just, you know, typing it. Uh -huh. It's just like a few, few words. Or uh -huh. just adding like a blank screen and uh, just being yep. like, bad end. Restart. Because I don't know if I want to go back to the to the dungeon and edit again. Or just have it in like oh, captions or whatever. Yeah. I don't, I don't know which one's better. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Not helpful, thank you. <laughs> we try. So what if we go and take out all of the smaller guys first? I'm trying to kill a big guy that I'm not leveled enough for. Silly. We're gonna lure this guy. Yep, yep, yep. And now we're just gonna run away a bit. He says it toppled me. Angel's giving me bits, and I don't appreciate it. Yes, you do. I appreciate it, but she needs to stop. We win! Good thing I'm here. No? We've definitely gotten stronger. Come on, get over here. No. Oh, I thought I got out of the way. Hey, can you get that aggro off me, actually? No. Clearly. By the way, you missed the most cutest thing between our platonic kissers. Who else wants some? I did. Yeah. They were cute. What happened? They had a heart to heart where uh, they talked about how they probably wouldn't be friends today if they didn't have that big fight when they were kids, but that they couldn't think of a better person to be by their side. Aw, oh, that's super fucking good. <laughs> <laughs> Between our platonic no, it's, kissers. It's, it's totally platonic, guys. Totally. Look, I can't say nothing. Uh, I I think Sulk and Fiora deserve to be together. And I have reason for that. I have good reason to believe this. It's not like a, a ship, Ryan and um, Shulk. <laughs> I just think it's funny if they're on a kissers. Also, I'm once again editing this damn video. I swear My to god. Fucking god. You've already made me stop with it, so thanks. You're welcome. If you do this, it's just so and then I'll be finished. And I'll be finished. I keep telling myself as I add new things. It's a problem. Yeah, I can tell. <laughs> You're the one that gave me this idea. In the I first know time. I am. That means nothing. 
It means all the things. No! Somebody get me up! I'm sorry, guys! No, I'm just not gonna be able to kill this thing. I was hoping, you know? Just level up. I wanted to... Casual mode? It's recommending me easy baby mode right now. I'm so mad. I died to an enemy twice and it recommends baby easy mode. I died to a mini boss that I shouldn't be picking a fight with, more specifically. Oh my god. Also, I'm just gonna sit here for like the next five minutes going through like fonts because my brain wants to find a very specific font, but I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Because I want, like, a good, like, you know when you, like, die in like, a video game, it's like, yeah, like it says, like, you die, restart. I want, like, a good text for that. But, there's no, like, search. Good like search function for my brain on on this thing. We can't lose. Cause there's like it's just in a weird order. Yeah. And I and I can't save fonts anymore because they updated it. Gotcha. So I can't just. <laughs> Yeah, fucking, it's not letting me initiate combat. That's another fucking mini boss. This one we might be at. Oh, the dragon fox. Cool. I'm watching a movie as I'm doing this. And the movie I'm watching is Damsel. Oh, I can show off chain attack! Dragon... dragon just kind of talks. Apparently. Yeah, baby. Right. Okay, I'm that. You're up. I'm on that. Why can I say like effects for text but not actual fonts? What the fuck? That was great, guys. Because I hate this app. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> Yes, I do. <laughs> Don't tell me how I feel. You know what? Oh, look at that singing brogs, which we also need for the class. We can't lose. Good luck, everyone. Leave it to Roy. We can definitely do this. Just the chest uh, you're on. Oh well. Right. Let's keep going. Man, what a bunch of jokers. Right. Let's do this. Move it to Roy. Good luck, everyone. We are just aggroing every Jesus. You really are. Don't mind the fact that we're fighting four enemies at once. I'd say I'm proud of you if you're living It's not like I meant to aggro everything at once. Mm-hmm. You say that. Look, see, it's fun. We killed it. Fine. And Fiora leveled up, so it's not like it's the end of the world. Mm hmm. Ask that to your characters with trauma already. 
I only killed them like twice. <laughs> okay. Just because you killed them twice doesn't mean like the times that they almost die doesn't count. It's fine. We got an item. We got a dark gray. Everybody, everybody quiet. Cutscene. Watch the cutscene. Oh, wait, it's not. Okay. <laughs> cutscene! <laughs> cutscene. Are these the Magmel ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. The Defense Force often uses it for training, but I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mekon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mekon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. So I'd like to... Yes, I know we can use short cuts to skip travel. It's fine. So. Something I always like to point out uh, after that cutscene is the way that Shulk says the words it's not a place people really go is so sassy and so directed at Fiora for absolutely no reason other than the fact that she showed up because she doesn't trust Ryan. Let's not lose our heads, though. And I was listening. No, I figured. I just, I instead of responding to what you said, my brain responded out of a thought that I said in my head. <laughs> Good use of brain power. I also think that this detail is really freaking cool. Because this place has been abandoned for years. They have no idea who wrote this. It's overrun, it's crowded with monsters, it's dusty, it's dirty. And then you have this one light. This single flashing light. Nobody knows how it's still on, but it is. Then over here you have... The enemy's uh, weak! Back. I, I aggroed something? How did I do that? We're not even in the same room. Guys, no. Stop. <laughs> Where's my party? There with it, she says. Over here we have an automatic door. It won't open now. Nobody knows why. Guys, stop jumping! Jesus Christ. My team is full of bunch of idiots. So look at how cute. So these are the Mel lizards that Fiora was worried about and that we got a quest to kill. Well look at them, they're so cute! Look how cute this Hello, guy is. Uh... Okay. Oh, it died. <laughs> Immediately. Do I care enough to get, like, an end Do I not care? No, you got to. Uh, you put so much work into it. Oh, Jesus! To the TikToks I go, I guess. Because I don't. Wait. Ah, those... First. 
And then I realized I'm on call. And that it. Hi! Come on, oh, you are most definitely not sure. Hey, you give the. Oh, we killed it? Oh my god, so that was- that was not a boss I was expecting to come up here. By the way, that was terrifying. Mm -hmm. Um, I almost died. Like, actually? Yeah. Like, I genuinely wasn't expecting that monster to show up there. Jesus, that was an enemy that we were not prepared for. This way. Oh, we rock. So, you guys won't know this till much later, but kneecap rocks are very important items. Um, obviously not till later, but it's fine. Drink some water. Water time. Is everybody in chat hydrated? Are you hydrated? Huh? Hydrate. I, I was confused because I didn't know that that was directed at me. That's I think the second better if it was to fight. Huh? It was? I mean, I, I, I didn't drink water, but I drank other stuff. Does that count? I had chocolate milk earlier. No. Aw, oh, dang it. <laughs> so, are you ready to just see one of the prettiest views that you'll get this early in the game? Oh, I'm gonna be saying that a lot, by the way, because this game is gorgeous. But are you ready for this? Because it's beautiful. Sure. Look at that. Very pretty. That's where we were! Over there! A little bit closer. Look at that! Look over there! That's Colony there. 9! That's where we were! We're so high up now. We are almost at like the top of the mountain. We get a cutscene. Right here. Thank you. I'll up. You two hold on a sec. I was confused why this was looking weird. It's because I haven't fixed where it's the filters go on this video. Hey, why do we have to come all the way here to get them? I hate my brain. Isn't there an ether signal brain station in the colony? Why? Well, refining the ether takes a long yeah, time down there. Yeah, I don't know why there. either, Tiny. And sometimes cylinderization Thanks fails. Thanks for responding. And there are so many cylinders here for us already. It's more reliable than making them ourselves. Right. 
and Colony 9's anti-air batteries and mobile artillery are standardized for these cylinders, so they can be used straight away. I see. You know, this place is in good condition considering it's ancient. It might be that there's some form of technology being used to preserve it. It's just a shame we don't understand its secret. Shock. But I'll solve it one day and show you. If it's just technology that someone created in the past, it's not incomprehensible. We'll come to understand it one day. Don't go trying too hard. We can come and get ether cylinders whenever we need them. Besides, it's a good place for Defense Force training. Yeah, so good that you didn't even want to come here without Shulk to back you up. Anyway, did you collect the cylinders? Yep, yeah, all done. Thanks. Just come by yourself from now on. Shh, be quiet. Is there a plane going by my house? What the fuck? <gasps> Yeah, my neighbors are being weird know. again. But it looks like we'll have to destroy them. In that case, just leave them to me. Strange neighbors. So, uh, this tells you that you can switch who you're targeting, but over here, if you press ZR mm. and up, you can command the party to do things. Up will have them focus on a one target. Side will engage at will, and down will have the uh, your party stop attacking and regroup at whoever you're playing as. Which gets really good when you need to focus on multiple enemies at once. Luckily, we are pretty prepared for this battle after doing some of that hunting in Temple Game. But these are ancient machines and they pop down the ceilings. You gotta kill them. You know, and, and logically, it's the only solution. Fiora, are you okay? I'm fine. How about you? I'm all right. Thanks to you and Ryan. What on Bionis were those? I've never seen anything like them. Could they have been Mekon? No. I think they were something left by the civilization that built this vehicle. They didn't seem like Mekon to me. But why did they only show up now? I don't know. But they were probably built to protect this place. They might have been activated in response to something. But I don't think that something could have been us. Please, let's go back. I don't want to be here anymore. Me neither. And we've already got the ether cylinders. Bom, 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 huh? bom, bom. What's going on? Listen, what is that? That sound. In the sky! Oh! Oh! It's a... This can't be! No way! Mekon! How? Didn't my brother destroy them all a year ago? Could that defense mechanism have responded to the Mechon? Let's get back to the colony. Come on. 